Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I don't say somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it because that's how we do it over here. We gonna talk a little bit about prodigy. You know, I, I've been talking about this situation over and over again. Now, it done come up in the news that Prodigy done expired. Shout out to him. This video is made for Prodigy on today. Check it out. Y'all know how we do it. Gotta tell you a little bit about him before I just get down to the heart of this shit. Prodigy was born in New York City. He was, he was part of that group called Mob Deep. The partner who was part of that group with him was named Havoc. Now Prodigy was the type of rapper when you listen to his music, he has some mind banging type of lyrics. What do I mean by that? The type of lyrics that'll make you think about what the fuck he just said. That's what mind banging lyrics is. So when you listen to his music, he make you think about some things. Prodigy was the great, great grandson of the founder of the Morehouse College. His mama was a singer of the group. The Crystals, she used to sing with them. And his father, he was also into music too. So Prodigy, you know, he was around music his whole life. Music was his shit. Seen mama do it, he seen daddy do it. And then he got into it himself. Check it out. Prodigy, he said he would, he, he'll go to the library. You know, back in the day, we ain't have this internet like we do today, okay? So back in his time, he used to go to the library, him and his friend, and they'd just study different knowledge and shit. Different understanding. The knowledge that they don't teach us in this motherfucker school. The books huh, that you can't get huh, at the at the libraries in your school. Back in the day. You know what I'm trying to say. So he say he used to go to the library. Prodigy say he seen books in there he couldn't believe. Breaking down true history. Things that was lost. Not so much lost, but not in your face where you can see it and have it in your hands and read it. You got to go out to find knowledge. You ain't going to just get it in no one book. That's why I keep telling y'all about that Bible. You ain't going to get it in just one book. You go to that library, study different knowledge. That the media wasn't showing us. So that shows us he was the type of rapper. He knew a little bit more than the average. Honey, he got the finding out shit about the industry. About the politics, the political games that they play. Honey, he got the finding out how, how these record companies and shit, how they really doing us. He start to feed his mind and his mind begin to become fat off of knowledge. Prodigy, I say prodigy, he found out so much shit and he begin to fuck with him. Look at your neighbor. I say look at your neighbor say he begin to fuck with him. Cause he start finding out some shit. He started being woke the fuck up. He said, oh shit, I have been played. I got to do something about this. I said, prodigy. He started seeing that he was played. That's how you feel when a motherfucker play you. I mean, when I first found out about this knowledge and understanding and shit. Huh, honey, I cried when I found out the shit. 
because it hurt me. Everything that I once thought was real was a motherfucker lie. Huh. How would you feel? Oh, come on, let me, let me break this down tonight. I said, let me break this story down tonight. Check it out. Prodigy was locked up for three years. They go that number again. Three years. He was locked up. He was writing letters exposing the Illuminati and shit. He done found all this shit out in the library. Now he ended up locked up. He said that was the best motherfucking thing that could have happened to him. Him being locked up. He got a little bit of time to spend with himself. He got a little bit of time to think to himself. On what the fuck I got to do to get this shit out of here. He started exposing. Huh? I said the Illuminati and shit. He started exposing Jay-Z's ass. He said Jay-Z's done sided down with the motherfucking past that be. The PTB. He said Jay-Z out there carrying out the agenda of the motherfucker powers that be. Honey prodigy say fuck a Jay-Z ass. He said that motherfucker ain't down for us. Just because you see these motherfucking videos with Jay-Z and he, he got the black power movement. Motherfucker ain't down for us. That's why they call the motherfucker wolves. In sheep's what? Motherfucking clothing. Huh. He say fuck Jay-Z. He say Jay-Z don't give a fuck about nobody. Jay-Z just care about making them duckies in his motherfucking pocket. I'm just bringing the story. Huh. Don't be mad at me. You asked me to bring it, so I'm bringing it. Huh, look at your neighbor say, she coming to bring it tonight. Oh, because I'm feeling him tonight. I said, I'm feeling prodigy tonight. Check it out. Now, let me say this. I got to say this before I move forward. Now, when, when prodigy first started out in this game, he didn't know the shit that he was getting into. He didn't know, just like the other ones. He came in blinded. And went out, unblindfolded. Went out with that blindfold out in his motherfucking ass. He didn't know what the fuck he was stepping into. He ended up finding out about this shit when he was already in the midst of this motherfucking game. Who I said I'm coming to bring it tonight? Uh, check it out. Y'all remember when Prodigy was on the Alex Jones show? Honey, he was just picking Prodigy's brain to see, you know what I'm saying, if he had backed the fuck down. Alex Jones was trying to see if he can get that motherfucking Rockweiler, that lion, up out of his ass. Trying to see if he was going to back down. And shut the fuck up. Honey, Alex Jones, I said I'm going to put it out here tonight. Alex Jones part of they shit. Everything Prodigy was saying to Alex Jones, he bringing that shit right back to the motherfucking PTB. Everything Prodigy saying to Alex Jones off the air, he bringing that shit right back to the PTB. Huh? Said he gonna take it back to the past, that be. Oh, he don't wanna, oh, he ain't gonna give up? Okay, off with his head. I better overstand it. Now, if you watch that interview with Alex Jones, you will see some. He was telling him, Alex Jones say, yeah, well, you know, if you expose they shit, talking about if the celebrities start exposing they shit, Alex Jones say, well, you know, they'll give you a fast acting cancer or a fast acting sickle cell. They'll take you up out of here. Yeah, they, they got electronics. They can do stuff like that. Telling you how they fucking work. I've been telling y'all that back, 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 back. When I first started doing the motherfucker in uh, videos and shit. Huh. Some motherfuckers laughed at me. 
I'm trying to tell you. You go in that motherfucking hospital for one thing. Oh, they got their motherfucking doctor set the fucker up. Ready. Huh. Here go another one right here. Whew. Check it out. Moving on. Prodigy. He got out of jail. And I said he started exposing every fucker thing. Folks was listening. I said a motherfucking hood start listening. Prodigy was the one who brought out the shit about the Illuminati. And start waking everybody up about the shit. Prodigy said, and I quote, he said, folks is making blood ritual sacrifices. He said, folks is molesting these children. Folks is out here having these realistic, realistic, what is called ritualistic sex rituals and shit going the fuck on in this industry. He said, yeah, motherfuckers want to laugh. Ha, he, ha, yeah, till it happened to one of theirs. Whew, sometime you gotta hit close to home for motherfuckers to overstand it. They ain't got to happen with me. Huh. Honey, cause my, uh, my motherfucking intuition is queen. Huh. I don't know what no motherfucking else. I don't know what nobody else. But my shit is queen. My intuition tells me. Oh yeah, this shit's going on. My ancestors let me know. Oh yes, this shit is going on. Just uh, because you uh, don't have no relationship with your ancestors and you don't have no relationship with your intuition, bitch. Don't try to put that on me. Please don't do it. Huh. They done tricked us. And some motherfuckers, they don't want to let go. They don't want to let go of the trick. I said they don't want to let go of the fucker trick. They want to hold on to the trick. Because they're going to have to relearn some things. So they want to hold on to the lie. Hold on to the fucker lie. Huh. And start up some, some shit with the motherfuckers who tell them, tell them the fucking truth. Check it out. Now we know what all the shit their prodigy was exposing. They was going to take them up out of here. You knew that. Huh. You should have known it. Because you know how they work. You must believe. You must believe this. Havoc ass, his partner, who used to rap with him, Havoc. He was part of this shit too. Couple of years back, his partner, Havoc, he say Prodigy was gay. Havoc say Prodigy was gay and he had to smack him. Honey, their relationship went to the motherfucker left. So you must know. Honey prodigy that he had to go. Shit, Havoc say fuck that. I need a piece of the dough. I got to have a piece of this dough. We ain't even cool like that no more anyway. So it ain't nothing for you to be my blood sacrifice and get you the fuck up out of here too. Bye bye. He part of the motherfucking setup. Huh. Must overstand. Smile in your face and set you the fuck up right behind your damn back. That's how they do it. That's how some of them do it. Honey, Havoc pulled a motherfucker Erica Badu. Pulled a Erica Badu on Prodigy. He said, I see you next lifetime. Huh. But I got to get you out of here this lifetime because I need a piece of that money. Oh, come on, let's move on. Motherfuckers tell you how they work. Give you a slow cancer. Turn up the slow cancer. Turn up the sickle cell. Get you right the fuck up out of here. Honey, they playing these fuckers like Alice in motherfucking Wonderland. And if you dare tell how deep the motherfucker rabbit hole go off with your head. Whew, moving on. I said I ain't gonna tear it too long. I said I ain't gonna stay too long on this subject. Listen to it. When did Prodigy die? Prodigy died June 20th, 2017. Come on, let's add these numbers up. You know how we do it. Come on, now. Nah. Come on, now. Nah. Two plus two plus one plus seven equal what? That's right, 12. One plus two equal what? Three. 
pass that B number. Anytime you see some deaths happening, you're going to see that three six up in there. You're going to see that 11 somewhere in there. Stand for the pillars. Check it out. Prodigy died at age what? 42. They took him up out of here at age 42. 4 plus 2 equal what? 6. Honey, we see the PTB mark all up in there. 3 6. So you dare try to expose our motherfucking shit. You got to go. Huh. They was just waiting for the right time to take him up out of here. Y'all know how they work. I done did enough videos so you can solve this shit yourself. How to get away with murder. Y'all done seen that TV show? Ha! They telling us how these motherfuckers work. Throwing it in our motherfucker face. I say throwing it in our fucker face. You figure it out. With this one right here, they ain't even give a fuck if we figured it out. Boop, three, six. We want you motherfuckers to know. Y'all gotta understand. His death was like a warning to the other celebrities. If you motherfuckers think y'all gonna speak out and y'all just gonna get away with it, huh, you must be out of your fucking mind. Honey, I want you to know this. I say, honey, I want you to know this. Honey, Prodigy thought. Prodigy thought they weren't gonna even take him the fuck up out of here. He thought he was gonna escape this. Go ahead, you do the research yourself. He thought he was going to escape this shit. He said, oh, yeah, no, they ain't going to do nothing. I don't think they're going to do nothing about it. <laughs> and right at the right time, huh, they snuck up right up in. Took them right the hell on out. Huh, when you done joined down with they shit? You a celebrity. You famous now. And you think you're going to open up your mouth and say something? Shit, we coming for you. Look at your neighbor say the pie, the pies that be they gonna come from. That's why half of them, they guess what? You better know this. Oh, I'm about to end it. I said I'm about to end it. I'm about to leave this sweetness on your mind. Check it out. Half of these motherfuckers that's, that's celebrities and shit, you must overstand. I said you must, motherfucker, overstand. The reason why they ain't saying shit, because they know, boom, they'll kill them. They'll get them the fuck up out of here. That's why they ain't open up their mouth saying shit. So when they look at Prodigy, they really, they really thanked him for that. They really liked him for that. But they couldn't say nothing. You know why they liked him? Because he was brave to open up his motherfucking mouth and expose them. That was a brave motherfucker move on his part. Now I'm going to end it right here. I said I'm going to end it right here. Keep your eyes open. I said keep your fucker eyes open. They ain't playing. I said playtime is over. So we got to make our playtime over. Catch that. Catch that. Now I'm going to end it right here. But y'all be good.